During the Second Lebanon War in July and August 2006, the north of Israel was hit by massive barrages of missiles. The attackers were Hezbollah. 4,000 missiles landed in Israel during the war. 19 out of the 44 people who died were Arabs. 119 Israeli soldiers died. The people of the north were scattered across the country as they had to flee their homes as many houses were damaged during the war. There is no fair comparison between the Hezbollah artillery and the Hamas one. So while it does get hectic when thousands of rockets fly in from Gaza, a war in the north is a different story. It's far more devastating. Despite the number of Arab lives lost, it appears that the position of Israeli Arabs has not changed much. They and their leaders continue to support the pan-Arab view that is Hezbollah and the rest of the terror organizations that seek to take them back to the dark old days they desperately yearn for. The Arabs reject the idea that it is a moral justification for Israel to start a potential war with those who openly express their anti-Semitic desires in ways that leave no room for imagination. In 2016, 10 years after the war, in Israeli polls, the vast majority of Israeli Arabs said they don't see Hezbollah as a terror organization. Maybe it's okay when Arabs kill Arabs, no problem. It's just that in 2022, just one year after the Guardian of the Walls operation that sparked an enormous amount of hate crimes in Israel, 10 synagogues were set aflame, where there were no mosque or church arsons. In 28 mosques, stones and Molotov cocktails were prepared, while no such things were seen in any church or synagogue. Out of the mosques, 22 were used for rioting, while not one synagogue or church was used for such purpose. 112 Jewish houses were burned while only one Arab house was burned down by Arabs that thought the household belonged to Jews, which led to the victim, an Arab 12-year-old child having to live with serious burns and permanent disfigurement on his face and scalp. Furthermore, 386 Jewish homes were looted, but not a single Arab home was looted. 673 Jewish homes were damaged compared to 13 Arab homes. 849 Jewish cars were burned, while 13 Arab cars were. Additionally, Arrests were made for Jews who were legally armed, while no detention, extensions or arrests were made for Arabs who had illegal weapons. 41 cases of stone throwing and uninvolved Arabs were reported, compared to 5,018 cases of stone throwing at uninvolved Jews. Moreover, dozens of weapons were confiscating from licensed Jews, whereas no illegal weapons were taken from Arabs. Arab leaders in Israel have long had an uneasy relationship with the Israeli government. They have used their power and influence to stir up violence and unrest in various mixed cities, particularly in Yafo, Lod, and Ramle. A survey was conducted, and the poll results show that 75% of Arab citizens believe Jews have no right to sovereignty in Israel. The survey conducted by Israeli NGO Habit Khonistim found that should war erupt between Israel and Arab states, there would be nearly equal numbers of Israel's Arabs fighting for and against the Jewish state.